the MG HS mid-sized SUV. More space, more safety tech with MG Pilot, and more peace of mind. All from only $29,990 drive away. The MG HS, it's the more you've been looking for. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Red Rooster, craveable, golden, crunchy fried chicken. In store or delivery. Hit News Briefing. Hi there, Isabel Everett with your news briefing. Anthony Albanese is back on the campaign trail today after getting out of ISO, but he's had a bit of a Twitter blunder with his dog. Albo was forced to delete a pic of his cavoodle Toto after it showed his phone number on the collar. The Labor leader today promising to bring down electricity bills with a new report showing wholesale energy costs have shot up by 141% over the past year. Labor's plan to address the cost of living issues where everything's going up except for people's wages by having cheaper child Care, cheaper electricity, by making more things here in Australia, by addressing climate change. While the PM had this to say when asked how long we can expect the cost of living to remain this high. The external influences on the economy are going to continue for some time, particularly when we see the disruption of the war in Europe and the disruption which comes from the pandemic. You can't necessarily change the price of a lettuce, um, but what you can do is you can halve petrol tax, and that's exactly what we did. A face-to-face -face meeting between Vladimir Putin and Vladimir Zelensky could take place right on Australia's doorstep. Both the Russian and Ukrainian leaders now expected to attend the G20 summit in Bali. And Elon Musk has had a busy 24 hours on Twitter, the new owner perhaps trying to draw in new subscribers with his own form of entertainment. Days after buying Twitter for $44 billion, he's joked about buying Coca-Cola next to put the cocaine back in. He's also reacted to the suggestion of buying McDonald's to fix all their ice cream machines, but says he can't do miracles. Ergon is urging drivers to slow down when roadside power line works are in progress. Please follow the traffic control signs and speed limits for everyone's safety. South Sydney and Manly are keen to bounce back from losses as they prepare to face off on the Central Coast tonight. Seagulls coach Des Hasler says their form lines have been similar. Our Souths have been, you know, by their own admission, a little bit undisciplined. You know, we've been a little bit up and down in that area as well. In the early game tonight, Gold Coast hosts the unbeaten Panthers. The Titans have lost Phil Sami to a knee injury. Last night, the Broncos upstaged the Sharks to rise into the top eight. And the New South Wales Premier is in the with the ARL Commission the Sarbo. Slight chance of a shower for central Queensland this afternoon. 29 the top in Rockhampton. Tomorrow, partly cloudy. 28 in Rocky. 27 in Gladstone. And our listener app is your new home of local news. Download the app now to listen live or on demand. Rock